आखिर कौन नहीं चाहता भारत फिर से डेवलप्ड राष्ट्र बने आखिर कौन नहीं चाहता भारत फिर से अखंड राष्ट्र बने और आखिर कौन नहीं चाहता भारत फिर से विश्व गुरु भारत बने हम सब चाहते हैं हम सब चाहते हैं भारत फिर से सोने की चिड़िया कहलाए हम सब चाहते हैं भारत फिर से एक शिक्षा का केंद्र बने जहाँ पे देश विदेश सारे जगह के लोग पढ़ने के लिए आए करते हम सब चाहते हैं उतने इमोशन और उतने इंटेंसिटी से जितने कि मैं चाहता हूँ आप भी चाहते हैं मगर हमारे पास कोई विजन नहीं है कोई सॉलिड प्लान नहीं है कि कैसे भारत को टू में एक विकसित भारत बनाया जाए मैं कुंदन कुमार विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिटेल्ड ब्लू प्रिंट अबाउट विकसित भारत टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन आई हैव द सेवन एस फॉर्मूला बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी कैन मेक श्योरली इंडिया विकसित भारत इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन दिस सेवन एस आर सुरक्षित भारत सशक्त भारत समर्थ भारत शिक्षित भारत स्वस्थ भारत सुसंस्कृत भारत एंड स्वर्णिम भारत अगर हम इन सात फ्रंट पे भारत को डेवलप करें और भारत के लिए काम करना शुरू करें 150 करोड़ पॉपुलेशन विल स्टार्ट टू वर्क टू वर्ड ऑल दीज सेवन फ्रंट्स डे बाई डे नेक्स्ट 22 टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स श्योरली आई एम मच होपफुल एंड यू आर ऑल्सो मच होपफुल इंडिया विल बिकम डेवलप्ड नेशन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन वेलकम टू द विकसित वार एट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी सेवन एपिसोड नंबर सेवन आज हम एपिसोड सेवन में बात कर रहे हैं इजिप्शन सिविलाइजेशन की इजिप्शन सिविलाइजेशन वी आर इन द प्रोसेस टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दिस मॉडर्न नेशन स्टेट हैज डेवलप्ड After long time during uh, ancient civilization, then empire has developed. Then finally, 190 nation has developed. Almost all are following the democratic process, and almost all are independent nation. But this journey is not easy, and this journey has taken long time, very long time. Almost we can say it is 5,000 years to 6,000 years it is taken. It is started around 4,000 BC when first civilization has emerged in Mesopotamia, and almost same time. Egyptian civilization also started to develop, and after almost 1,000 years, Indus Valley has started, and afterwards, means 4,000 BC to you can just say up to lump sum time 1900 or something. Then almost 6,000 years it is taken to start very ancient human civilization to develop a independent 190 nations. and every nation having their own sovereignty own independence own political system own defense forces and they are they are uh, not to pressurized by any other forces to follow some other value system what they feel or what are the acceptable across the nation they are following but earlier time it was not that kind of freedom and that kind of uh, you can say demarcation was not there this is my country that is your country and that much uh, uh, you can say civilization was not flourished and that much philosophy political system or human or you can say science and math everything was very initial stage then now this journey we are trying to understand this episode how egyptian civilization has emerged in the in the bank of the river nile and how it is contributed for the human uh, human civilization or you can say development of human being because every civilization is having their own role own contribution to develop the human being everything has added some value then we are we reached up to this point we cannot deny any of the things and we should accept every civilization everything every point of time or every you can say any duration of time has made some impact on the human and human has gathered the some information and some extra knowledge based on that we are keep on developing or you can say we are becoming more intellectual more knowledgeable or more scientifically developed earlier it was a initial phase everything was a struggle food itself was a struggle now you know what you can say food is a struggle but that the food itself was a struggle then egyptian civilization will try to understand little detail because it is more complicated compared to mesopotamia because most mesopotamia civilization it was like a dynasty rule was not that much complication but here dynastic rule are so complicated and it is very early started around 3000 bc and ended around 300 bc till alexander has finally invaded and made it under the roman empire and after wars it has up to 600 AD 650 AD it was under the rule of the roman empire and christianity was flourishing there once arab arab people are started to emerge or you can say islam was started to emerge during 7th AD then they again uh, attacked down the egypt and captured captured by the arab forces and after wars islam has become the official religion of the egypt and till that islam is followed in that country and whatever modern 
modern uh, you can say shape of the country is there it is given by the islamic rule whatever but they fully demolish the old values and they reestablish very firmly about the islamic values then welcome welcome again just we'll uh, discuss about the egyptian civilization during this episode sabse pehle hum ye samjhenge ki egypt ka aakhir geographical location kya hai ye to hame pata hai ki egypt nile river ke kinare basa hua hai or it is a part of one of the nation of the africa and nile is the longest river in this world sometimes contradiction will be that nile is longest or amazon is the longest but a still official figure is nile is the longest river second is the nile river both side of nile river like you will look here or here this side then both side you can say desert is there and that desert with time that point of time also it was keep on increasing and now it is in are now also increasing but it is not going eastward now it is going downward direction that time also same thing happened and that was given one of the trigger point and one of the reason to develop the egyptian civilization first we'll try to understand nile river nile river is a very long river and it is crossing more than 11 countries of africa almost 11 countries not a single not a single river is there which will cross that many countries together almost 11 country will cross after a starting and finally it will come to the egypt and it will go to the mediterranean sea as a delta region then basically first we will try to understand this river bank of nile which are affected or where egyptian civilization mainly developed it is divided in five parts one is nile delta another is your uh, lower egypt next is your upper egypt next is your sinai peninsula and next is your kush we you cannot imagine earlier these five also was not united first attempt happened to unite lower egypt and upper egypt and afterwards civilization started to trigger just we'll move forward what we can say basic region or most prominent region for egyptian civilization as per historian or as per scientific data it was the almost around 6000 bc what happened this uh, sahara desert started to expand once sahara desert desert started to expand then it forced people to go near to the Nile River or search for the other water sources because they were away from Nile River. Nile River is here. Once it is expansion started, then what happened? They started to move towards Nile River like this area, and they found Nile is one of the very beautiful river where continue flood is coming and continue river. It is not like a seasonal river. It was a continuous flowing river, and they found this is one of the good place where we can stay permanently and permanent settlement started to happen, and finally it is given. given as a cradle of the civilization or you can say emerging of the egyptian civilization one of the one of the biggest biggest civilization in ancient in ancient world then due to expansion of sahara desert sahara desert these things happen people started to move forcibly towards nile river and finally it is given to the egyptian civilization just we'll move little bit more we used to tell egypt as a gift of nile river it is a kind of proverb we used to tell egypt the gift of nile why we used to tell it is a gift of nile because if nile river would not there that much big civilization would not develop and that much robustic river would not there which are flowing throughout the year then would it would not supported the excess production or excess agriculture production which would given the given the further development which has given the idea of the trade with the nearby nearby states or nearby provinces and based on that only there are uh, you can say economy has started to grow and finally based on the economy they have developed very robust dynastic system and you will not believe in that ancient time also they ruled almost 30 different dynasties these different dynasty ne shasan kiya that time means we can say almost in 2700 year during uh, you can say 3000 years 3100 3500 3, bc to 3200 bc this is lump sum time but uh, till alexander attack it was under the egyptian rule एक बार एलेक्जेंडर ने अपने कब्जे में लिया उसके बाद से लोकल जो रूल था इजिप्शन का वो ऑलमोस्ट खत्म हो गया और उसके बाद वो फिर से वापस नहीं आ पाए ऑलमोस्ट 600 साल 600 हंड्रेड ईयर्स इट वाज अंडर रोमन रूल और अंडर द क्रिस्टिनिटी फाइनली इट इज कम टू अंडर द अंडर द रूल ऑफ इस्लाम नाइल रिवर के बारे में कुछ फैक्ट जानना जरूरी है कि क्या इसके दो ब्रांच है एक को बोलते हैं वाइट और एक को बोलते हैं ब्लू वाइट एंड ब्लू वेर इट इज लोकेटेड वी कैन जस्ट लुक हियर हियर इट विल बी अमर्जिंग पॉइंट वेयर वाइट एंड ब्लू बोथ विल मर्ज and it will finally flow as a bigger river or you can say their uh, force and water water uh, water volume all will increase once it is moving towards 
lower Egypt. Due to lower Egypt was the more more triggering point for civilization development because their availability of water resources and it was uh, chances of flood was more due to uh, nearby land or nearby soil was getting uh, uh, getting recharged or you can say it was getting nutrients on regular basis due to lower egypt first civilization started to trigger and parallelly upper egypt also started to trigger both has both has become unified and they made the egyptian civilization first struggle happened to unify them lower and upper egypt finally upper egypt one of the ruler has uh, made successful attempt and they made the made the uh, unified egypt and from there first rule of unified egypt has started and uh, civilization started nile river is longest river in the world the nile is celebrated as a holiday like once flood will come still their official holiday is there in egypt once flood in egypt will come they will declare government holiday or they will declare like a holiday like a festival because that was the backbone for economy society or civilization if agriculture will not happen then nothing can be done because that point of time that was the only region where for the development of the civilization we don't have other resources aur usme kuch bhi nahi tha agar krishi theek se ho rahi hai tabhi sab kuch thoda aur chalte thoda aur information gather kar nile ke bare mein thoda aur just for getting better understanding uske baad hum samajhne ki koshish karenge kaise civilization mein different dynasties ne invention ki aur kaise humans human uh, human people human ke liye aur ancient human ke liye aur present human ke liye jo aaj bhi helpful ho raha hai ye start hota hai basically victoria lake se this is the point basically it is a you can say starting point of nile river it is starting from victoria lake and exact point is this is jinja length of river is 6650 km which are more than length of amazon river amazon river is 6400 something then around 200 km it is more it is very longest river and it crossing from almost 10 countries in africa it is giving you can say so many diversity in geographical way and you can say multiple way it is it is uh, just contributing for the society economy and historical perspective also and uh, still it is one of the greatest source for agriculture because without agriculture any of the country cannot grow if usa today is super power just 200 300 years before they have focused too much for agriculture once agriculture has fully developed and you are in surplus condition very huge surplus condition that only will give you the idea and give you the pathway to make development of your second economy or we can say secondary economy that is manufacturing primary secondary tertiary and once your manufacturing setup is full your infrastructure has completed your infrastructure has come at certain level then it will trigger your tertiary economy that is your service sector then first we have to focus on agriculture once agriculture has fully developed means go up to maximum efficiency fully developed it will never because sciences keep on developing sciences keep on changing but it has gone to the optimum optimum efficiency afterwards it will trigger to the manufacturing sector then like uh, 11 countries you can just if you want you can just look the name kenya congo sudan uganda egypt before it eventually drains into the continents largest area the mediterranean the grand feature is not only defined by geographical location but by the memories that only you and those who experience them with you cannot you can access this is possibly due to its uniqueness magnificence as well as rewarding a spectacular view that offer a brilliant and razor sharp experience that is you can say their people are praying for their nile river and they are looking nile river as a like a source of inspiration or source of historical historical impacts thoda aur aage chalenge aur ab samajhne ki koshish karenge ki actually mein us 3000 saalon mein 3000 bc ke aas pass aisa kya hua aur kaise ye civilization sustain kiya utne dino tak to lumsum ye jo timeline hai ki pre dynastic period was 5000 to 3100 bc iske is samay dynasty nahi thi सिविलाइजेशन थोड़ा मोड़ा डेवलप कर रहा था बट इट वॉज ए लोकलाइज व्यू लाइक लोअर इजिप्ट वॉज डेवलपिंग समथिंग अपर इजिप्ट वॉज डेवलपिंग समथिंग कुश वॉज डेवलपिंग समथिंग दैट यू कैन से पर्टिकुलर लोकल एरिया वॉज डेवलपिंग समथिंग और दे दे आर बिकमिंग सेल्फ सफिशियंट फॉर सर्वाइवल बट इट वॉज नॉट ए यूनिफाइड कल्चर और यूनिफाइड सिविलाइजेशन विच कुड मेक इम्पैक्ट टू द अदर्स नेक्स्ट पीरियड इज कम दैट इज कॉल्ड अर्ली डायनेस्टिक पीरियड और आर्केक पीरियड 
this was the foundation period and next is coming old kingdom we'll see all this uh, timeline one by one next is coming old kingdom age of pyramid building egypt is famous for the building and mysteries of the mysteries of the monuments mystery mysteries of the tomb like recently also netflix also started one of the secrets of the sakara correct then uh, all the egypt is famous for buildings mainly for pyramids pyramids of giza that is one of the one of the seven wonders of the world and unesco is protecting that apart from giza also we have multiple monuments and multiple pyramids first intermediate period has come around 2181 bc to 2055 bc middle kingdom has just followed that and it uh, it has gone up to around 1800 bc and afterwards second intermediate what is intermediate phase when kingdom was not able to rule properly then some changes happened and some new ruler has come they again unified and started to rule in proper way then basically as a better kingdom way or you can say unified ruling then we can just divide in these three these three we have to look old kingdom then middle kingdom and new kingdom in between intermediate phase are there first intermediate phase second intermediate phase third intermediate phase and third intermediate phase is lasting around 600 bc and afterwards they are not able to recover from late period they are started to they tried to do but finally alexander has 322 bc is the last landmark when alexander has finally and fully captured then basically we are trying to understand here 5000 bc to 332 bc 5000 bc to 332 BC but out of these bigger timeline mainly will focus on 3100 to 332 around you can say to approximately approximately to 2800 years or 2700 years that time this 2800 year history we have to understand little bit what our uh, social development and scientific development happened during this step by step just we'll move to next point and we'll try to understand what happened during pre-dynastic period when bc 5000 to 3100 bc in pre-dynastic period just by name also you can say before dynasty started it was 5000 to 3001 bc that time what happened lower egypt was followed by one of the rule and south egypt was followed by one of the rule or we can say north egypt is a lower egypt south egypt it was the upper egypt and basically it is called north egypt is red land and south egypt is white land it was just a notation both side one one kingdom was there small small kingdom and they were ruling to their uh, you can say their own land like lower egypt and higher egypt first one successful or you can say a impact effective ruler has come which was the scorpion king based on that movie also has come hollywood movie these all around 3200 bc south king a scorpion attempted to unite but not fully successful it was the first attempt to make egypt united before that it was not making any any impact or any unified effect of the civilization it was localized very much localized and they are not connected to each other also they are disconnected lower egypt was ruling by someone else south egypt was ruling someone else, and they were they were fighting to each other means it was not coherence with uh, uh, with ruling or with social culture or anything first time 3200 bc scorpion king who was ruling the south egypt or you can say upper egypt he tried to make north under his capture but not fully successful but his grandson almost grandson just will move forward but around 3100 bc his grandson or maybe descendant of that this was the first notable king that is minis or sometimes it is a just contradiction in history minis was there or narmer was there few places few historian are accepting that name was minis this was the person minis or few are telling na a name as a narmer whatever name is there you just keep in mind minis or narmer they had made successful attempt and they subdued the north part of the egypt and unify the country and created the dynasty and become the first king and name has become pharaoh as still we are telling there all king who ruled egypt that is pharaoh and memphis it was near to cairo he made the first capital and king has started to become legitimate authority and the king has started to convey to the people 
we are not general people i am like a god like and horus they made one god that is horus all powerful god is god it was the very powerful god means king has created or whatever uh, relative would be there we will not go in that discussion but king has uh, made a made a made a king has made a like a situation where people started to think people started to follow the king like a god and nobody was opposing it that was established the complete rule this is a king minis he was the first pharaoh who created the first dynasty and unified upper and lower egypt here it is memphis memphis was the capital first capital of the unified egypt this is near to cairo cairo is the present capital of the egypt this is your present present country of egypt which is the landmass the year it is cairo near to nile river just near it is memphis also and agriculture started to flourish like anything and wheat and barley they started to produce and they started to export also hieroglyphic writing this was the one of the peculiar writing system which are developed by egyptian hieroglyphic that is uh, started to started to develop during archaic period or early dynastic period thoda aur aage chalenge once archaic period was over then old kingdom age come and that was you can say golden time of egypt when egypt has made many of the pyramids many of the monuments very of the many of the tombs and are still that tombs and monuments and pyramids are attraction point for the tourist and still it is a mystery for historians and you can say geologists then this was the main period when egyptian has grown like anything or the civilization has made the worldwide impact because internal tussle was over and king was established their authority and legitimacy like a god nobody was opposing him either common people or maybe other people they think they started to become bow down because they feel it is like a god we should not oppose it they are representing the god and that time all powerful god was horus only one god and they made like a monotheistic also aisa nahi ki aap apne apne marzi se koi god bana lenge only one powerful god horus and king is the king is ruling this land based on the based on the god horus then third dynasty of pharaoh first and second dynasty has come like uh, early archaic period and old kingdom started around 2686 to 2181 almost 500 500 years it was golden period king dodger king dodger we can give the credit like king minis we have given credit to unified egypt and make memphis as a capital a started agriculture boost up like a wheat and barley they started to started to grow and started to export hieroglyphic writing started these all credit we can give to king minis similarly third dynasty of pharaoh king dodger asked im asked imhotep who was the ino imhotep ino imhotep was one of the person who was under in under his uh, you can say rule and he was one of the architect one of the priest and multiple quality then he asked to design funerary monument funerary monument once people or any of the people like a king level of people if died uske liye ek aisa monument banna chahiye ek aise building banni chahiye jisme uska funerary rakha jaye तो फर्स्ट पिरामिड हैज मेड एट सकारा अराउंड 2600 बीसी दैट वाज द वेरी यू कैन से पिरामिड दैट इज कॉल्ड स्टेप्ड पिरामिड इट इज स्टेप्ड पिरामिड इट इज नियर सकारा इज नियर बाय ओनली जस्ट यू लुक हियर सकारा इज हियर हियर योर कैरो हियर इट इज मेम्फिस हियर सकारा नियर बाय अगेन गीजा हैज कम व्हेन नेक्स्ट रूलर हैज कम देन फर्स्ट मोनूमेंट और फर्स्ट pyramid which was a stepped pyramid it is made in sakara and based on that now netflix is showing one of the series secrets of sakara still they are not able to uh, still they are not able to understand full mysteries how they kept this mummies and these are mummification other one of the gift of the world mummification means how we can keep the dead body for long time without spoiling then this a stepped pyramid made for the king dodger and further it has become a like a custom for all the king or ruler before dying their their uh, official people will keep ready their uh, you can say monument in the form of pyramid and once he will die it will be kept in that pyramid then based on the king dodger 
first stepped pyramid or first big monument has made made in Saqqara and still Saqqara tomb you can say many of the mummies you will find that is still in very good shape after thousand thousand of years and still people are doing research there and historians are too much interested because so many mystical you can say mysterious things they are able to find there after King Dodger, what happened and how this, you can say, custom of pyramid of making the pyramids of big, big monuments has continued. Next has come Great Pyramids at Giza. Around 2560 BC, one king was there, King Khufu. King Khufu has given order to make great pyramid. Like it was not like a normal pyramid, whatever made from last 100, 200, 300 years. He told you make something marvelous, something great. And that has come like a great pyramid at Giza. And Giza is a nearby place of, uh, you can say, Saqqara. Saqqara, Memphis, Cairo, Giza, all are almost nearby. It is not much different, 20, 30, 40 kilometers nearby. And afterwards, based on the King Khufu, next has come 2532 BC, King Kafra. King Kafra also has made the same great pyramids in Giza only. And afterwards, Menkora. These three kings, we can say Khufu, Kapra and Menkora, combinedly they made the pyramids which are called as a Great Pyramid at Giza. Ek baad, ek baad ne, jo pyramid banana shuru kiya, like a stepped pyramid pahle uske funeral pe bana, uske baad toh samjho ki Egypt mein yeh silsil a chalo ho gaya, aur yeh pyramids ki line lag gai, aur ek se ek pyramid bana, usme sabse jyada toh famous hai hua Great Pyramid at Giza, Great Pyramid at Giza, which was the made by the King Khufu. King Khufu has given order to his official person, you make a pyramid not like a normal which was made last 100-200 years. Make something marvelous, something great. Or uske anzar King Khufu ke liye Giza mein pyramid bana. This was the King Khufu only. And it is the one of the finest pyramid still it is surviving after 3000 years also. Correct? 3000-4000 years over. But still it is surviving surviving and it, this shape is made from a single stone cutting. That point of time, how much it would be difficult to make by this single cutting. And we cannot believe it that point of time when technology was not there, how this big, big piece of piece of a stone has moved up to that much height. That time, like JCB was not there, lifting crane was not there, how these people were moved. And another point is there, based on their cultural history of the Egypt, they have not enslaved the people. Like Mesopotamia will go, they have tortured the people and they made like a slave, one of the cutaway. Everywhere, if something will grow, someone has to sacrifice. But here they made very good system. Nobody was enslaved to make all these big, big monuments. Who was the like a peasant, who was the like a farmers and who was working like a tradesman. All these people only, they used to work as a part time like after their regular work to making these pyramids and making these monuments and tombs. Then this was one of the great achievement without enslaving the people. They achieved one of the one of the seven wonders in the world. Then this is your pyramid of Giza. Giza is located nearby to nearby to Memphis and nearby to Saqqara and Cairo. Cairo, Saqqara, Memphis, Giza all are almost nearby. And after after Khufu, next ruler has come, Kafro. And afterwards, Menkora, these three rulers has made the pyramids in Giza and combinedly we used to tell great pyramids at Giza. Third and fourth dynasty was the golden age, like India mein bolte hai, Gupta dynasty was the golden age, around 3rd AD to 800 AD, it was the golden phase of India. Similarly, this uh, ancient civilization in Egypt, third and fourth dynasty was the golden age. Everything has flourished like anything. Fifth and sixth dynasty, wealth has started to deplete. Now what will happen? Any of the dynasty or any of the king or any of the empire, they will face this kind of issue. Once they will start to create the history, means future people should remember us. Then what will happen? They will start to spend too much on the monuments. They will, they will make big, big construction project. And there what will happen? Because these all construction projects are not having immediate return money and as economy point of view, their running economy will disturb. If you economist, economist, it is a 
ब्लॉक्ड मनी इट इज लॉन्ग टर्म में भी रिटर्न आएगा आएगा या नहीं आएगा तो उस समय क्या हुआ कि जो थर्ड फोर्थ सेंचुरी गोल्डन गोल्डन एज एज कम बट किंग ऑल ऑल मनी ऑलमोस्ट एटी परसेंट सेवेंटी परसेंट मनी दे स्टार्ट टू पुट इन कंस्ट्रक्शन प्रोजेक्ट स्पेशली पिरामिड्स एंड बिग बिग मोनूमेंट्स तो उससे क्या हुआ कि उनका वेल्थ डिप्लेशन स्टार्ट हो गया और स्लोली स्लोली आफ्टर सिक्स डायनेस्टी दे स्टार्ट टू फॉल डाउन लेकिन पूरा फॉल नहीं हुआ एक इंटरमीडिएट फेज आया इस बीच में बहुत सारे माइथोलॉजिकल फिगर आए जिसके बारे में बहुत सारी मूवीज में भी दिखाई जाती है हॉलीवुड की मूवीज में लाइक फर्स्ट गॉड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सन दे आर स्टार्टेड टू इजिप्शियन पीपल स्टार्टेड दिस इज द फिगर माइथोलॉजिकल सन गॉड रा और री और वन ऑफ द लोकल गॉड वॉज देयर आमीन एंड कंबाइंडली दिस इज द फिगर ऑफ गॉड आमीन रा करेक्ट एंड King has made like a, I am the follower of the god Ra, and I am the descendant of the god Ra, and I am ruling here based on the order of the great god Ra. Correct. And this was the superpower. And after Horus, this another mythological god has entered in Egyptian history. First was the Horus, they made by Minij, and afterwards this another god, mythology or reality. I am not coming in that discussion. But what happened? people started to feel this king is a descendant of god this king is having full rights to enjoy the life this king is having full rights to get all finest things whatever we produced the king is having full rights to utilize the wealth of the state and king is having full rights to take tax taxes and from us and king is having full rights to rule over us this mindset has gone to the people and that has given the permanent ruling and one kind of legitimate authority of the king then during 6th dynasty influence of nobility increased because wealth has started to deplete of the king then king has become little uh, less powerful and who was the noble person and priest working under the king they started to become more powerful agar raja kamzor hota to uske mantri us pe rule karna shuru kar dete hain directly waisa hi wahan pe hua raja kamzor hota gaya क्योंकि उसके वेल्थ डिप्लीट हो रही थी तो जो उसके मंत्री गण थे पृष्ठ से वो धीरे 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 राजा को कंट्रोल करने लगे एंड लास्ट सिक्स डायनेस्टी एंड इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ नोबिलिटी इंक्रीज एंड प्रिस्ट हुड ग्रू अप अराउंड सन गॉड रा एंड बहुत सारे कर्म कांड कर्म कांडों ने जगह ले ली जो कि इस गॉड रा को पूजा करना है कैसे करना है पूजा कब करना है पूजा पूजा करना क्यों जरूरी है मन में एक कॉमन पब्लिक के मन में एक डर सा फैला दिया गया कि यही गॉड के कारण सब कुछ हो रहा है लास्ट सिक्स डायनेस्टी लास्ट सिक्स डायनेस्टी वॉट एपन सिक्स डायनेस्टी किंग इट वॉज दिक्स डायनेस्टी किंग लास्ट किंग दिस वॉज कॉल्ड पेपी सेकेंड डाइड एंड ओल्ड किंगडम इंडेड ओल्ड किंगडम एंडेड इन के ओस मीन्स इट वॉज अ टोटली डिस्टर्ब पीरियड एंड वी कैन से ओल्ड किंगडम ऑलरेडी एंडेड आफ्टर वर्ड्स इंटरमीडिएट फेज स्टार्टेड बिफोर मिडिल किंगडम Intermediate phase, first intermediate period has come like at 2180 BC to 2000, almost you can say, almost 200 years. It was the first intermediate phase when seventh to eleventh dynasty was totally unstable. They were ruling the Egypt, but it was un unstable. It was not giving any great thing. They were not able to do something. Means anyhow they are surviving. And slowly, slowly what happened? Two kingdom emerged like a before unification by Minij, almost. Two, two, two kingdom has emerged, the smallest one, and one was the Central Egypt that is called Heracleopolis, and another is at the Thebes. Both have started to fight. Heracleopolis and another ruler, which was ruling from Thebes, they have started to fight internally. Who is more powerful? Around 2055 BC, Theban prince, what happened? Menuhotep. This was the name, all complicated name. Menuhotep. Topple the Heracleopolis and reunited Egypt again. Like same thing happened pre-dynastic period. What happened? King Scorpion tried to subdue the lower Egypt or uh, you can say North Egypt, but he was not successfully. His grandson or the next descent, King Minij, has uh, attacked or you can say uh, captured the North Egypt and they made Egypt. Unified. Same thing happened here in first intermediate phase when Menuhotep toppled the Heracleopolis and reunited Egypt again, and given the again restart of the Middle Kingdom during 12th century. 
and again egypt has started to flourish like a uh, olden time and afterwards it has it was more aggressively they started to expand there they captured nubia they captured libya nubia and libya at the you can say nearest uh, uh, nearest uh, nearest country we can say or nearest uh, nearest uh, land ma land mass which was just attaching to the egypt south side nubia and uh, you can say western side it was libya then they colonized the nubia and libya and based on that they got the more economic resources and their ability to rule and their ability to further uh, develop the civilization has become more authentic and more firm. Further, they have gone beyond. They have started to make diplomatic relations with the little far countries, Syria, Palestine, and other country like nearby. All they made Israel that time we can say whatever. Again, pyramid building started. Whatever first intermediate phase, it was totally stopped because money was not there. Paisa nahi tha, to pyramid nahi ban that. Middle Kingdom ne because they captured Nubia, Nubia, Libya, and their resources has increased. They again have started to make. They are one of the icon or they are one of the, you can say, pattern for pyramid making and other mega building projects again started. Tora aur aage chalte hain ki Middle Kingdom ke baad fir again intermediate phase aaya aur again new dynasty aaya aur fir uske baad. Uske baad dusra jo phase aata hai second intermediate phase ka. 13 to 17 dynasty again they were not able to rule fully. Again almost you can say 200 years, 1786 to 1567. What happened? Egypt was not controlled properly. Around 1650 BC, foreign ruler Hyksos controlled 15th dynasty and has become ruler of the 15th dynasty. Thebians, afterwards, what happened? 1570 BC, driving out Hyksos. Finally, what happened around 1570? Almost 100 years, almost 100 years, this foreign ruler Hyksos has ruled. But afterwards, Thebians again toppled him and around 1570 BC they drive out and afterwards afterwards again you can say native ruler of the Egyptian started to rule and given the birth of the new kingdom from 1567 to 1085. What happened in this 18th dynasty started and afterwards uh, many of the things happened in this time and even God also changed. God earlier was the Amin Ra, now new God has come, Aten. Correct. Then what happened? Amenhotep IV was the king who disbanded priesthood of the god Aminra, started and forced another son god Aten, and afterwards renamed himself like Akhenaten. Correct. Capital has made also, and new capital has shifted around 1085 BC. Again, foreign invasion happened, and again, new kingdom has become disturbed. But this is not the good phase when Egypt has developed all over the next jo hai, wo hai third intermediate phase jo around 1000 BC to 664 BC around 400 years this 400 years what happened important changes in politics society and culture ye jo time tha Egypt ke logon ke liye fir se sochne ka time tha ki aakhir itna jo utha patak ho raha hai hamari satta mein kabhi do dynasty thik se rule kar culture social level personal level everywhere it was visible or during 21st dynasty, Libya and Nubia invaded. What happened? Earlier, during Middle Kingdom, Libya and Nubia was captured and made the colony of the Egypt and their economic resources had increased. But during 21st dynasty, Libya and Nubia had attacked on Egypt and started to control. Just ulta ho gaya. Jo uske gulam te, wo uspe havi ho gaya. And from 21st to 26th dynasty, almost it was disturbed. And you can say multiple war happened between Libya, Nubia, Nubia, Egypt, foreign invasion, this and one kind of different, you can say mixture of the mixture kind of people has created based on the, you can say, uh, continue mix, mixture of the different races and different kind of people. But finally, Nechos, finally Nechos of the Says, Says the dynasty, Nechos of the Says, it was the first ruler of the 26th dynasty and killed by king. What happened? Necho was established by big difficulty. He removed like Libyan, Nubian and other foreign invasion, whatever people was there. And he established 26th dynasty with big difficulty and given name of the dynasty is Says. But one of the Kusite, 
we have seen in initially it is lower egypt high uh, upper egypt and then it was the uh, uh, senai, senai peninsula then it is the kush kushite king was there he killed nechus of the sas afterwards what happened once he killed his son started to develop late period to alexander conquest okay beginning with nechus son and afterwards set dynasty ruled a reunified egypt for less than two century this was the last phase when egypt has become reunified and this uh, set dynasty has ruled around 525 bc cambyses king king of persia it was one of the famous king cambyses defeated defeated the last last set king and battle of pelusi happened and egypt become part of the persian empire but this was also not stand not ended finally what happened again darius has rule attacked and controlled and finally it has gone through like a, a 28 to 30 b 30 dynasty it has ruled anyhow but not very controlled way just will try to consolidate what happened persian again tried to control 343 bc they again tried because in between native egyptian started to rule lot of changes happen we are not studying here history in detail to i am not going in detail because we are just getting the idea what happened and what are the contributions 332 bc alexander of the macedonia defeated the persian and 31 bc afterwards this has happened and finally rome has captured and afterwards 31 bc to 600 ad almost christianity has flourished and you can say roman empire was fully controlling the egypt 7th AD Arab taken the control and Islam has introduced Islam has removed all old things and practices and at present it is a complete islamic country thoda aur aage badhte hain ab thoda samajhne ki koshish karte hain ki egyptian civilization ke kya kya invention the aur contribution the jo ki zyada zaruri hai dynasty samajhne se dynasty ne hame ek lump sum idea de diya ki 3000 BC se lekar ke थर्टी वन बी तक कैसे रूल चेंज हुए और कैसे फॉरेन इन्वेजन हुआ पर्सियन रूलर आए फिर फाइनली इट वाज ए लाइक केम अंडर टू द यू कैन से मैकडोनिया रूल एंड फाइनली इट हैज गोन टू द अरब रूल और फाइनली इस्लाम हैज डेवलप्ड लाइक इस्लाम डेवलप्ड द नेशन लाइक प्रेजेंट मॉडर्न नेशन हमें अब समझना है कि इन्वेंसन एंड कंट्रीब्यूशन क्या कर रहे हैं जस्ट ट्राई टू लुक दिस फिगर हाउ दे यूज टू मूव द बिग बिग स्टोन्स टू मेक द पिरामिड्स they like one historian one one art ki lay read based on that time telling to make one pyramid first in surrounding they used to make big big slopey buildings correct you know where slope is like uh, you are going any of the hilly area then road you will find it will go round 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 means go just suppose 3 km upward you have to drive 40 50 km then you will go 1 km upward similar way before making pyramid they used to make round 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 kind of slopey buildings or you can say like uh, where uh, things can be slide easily with less effort and based on the predetermined height of the pyramid first they will make slopey building and all the stones big big stones after cutting from the mountain or any uh, whatever places it was moved manually to that slopey building and from based on the slope they used to go bottom to top then this technology they used but how refined way they used still pyramids are existing in good shape after what papyrus seat papyrus seat actually it will be this seat is very you can say it is not hard it will break very easily it will not preserve long time but due to egyptian climate it was it has become little hard and it was able to preserve long time but first time idea to write somewhere it has come from here papyrus seeds and afterwards this writing writing method also given hieroglyphics this was the writing method from right to left they used to write and more than 30 40 symbols they developed many symbols they developed still many of the symbols are not deciphered and afterwards this is one of the game we used to play balling this was the came from that and this this is one of the plow plow means it will use in agriculture purpose this exact plow has in uh, plow has uh, used by the mesopotamian also egyptian also but they have made the very sophisticated plow which was used by the like uh, oxen or maybe like uh, any of the animals and it was easy to 
कल्टिवेट द लैंड थोड़ा और आगे बढ़ते हैं जस्ट विल कंटिन्यू अबाउट द इन्वेंस एंड कंट्रीब्यूशन जस्ट वाई सींग द फिगर यू विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज लाइक ए काइंड ऑफ फिगर ऑफ द एडवांस मेडिकल टेक्नोलॉजी वेयर सर्जरीज आर डूइंग और लाइक ए रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ द ऑर्गेन्स और वेरी सीरियस डिजीज कैन बी क्योर्ड देन मेडिकल साइंस ऑल्सो हैज टेकन वन ऑफ द ग्रेट एडवांसमेंट ड्यूरिंग इजिप्शियन रूल्स एंड कल्चर ऑफ कोर्स इट हैज टेकन ग्रेट लीप और ग्रेट एडवांसमेंट ऑल ओवर द साइड लाइक नॉट ओनली सोशल लेवल सोशल पोलिटिकल एवरी लेवल एंड वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट अचीवमेंट और इंट्रोडक्शन वॉज देयर द मम्मीफिकेशन दैट वॉज ओनली फाउंड मेनली इन इजिप्शियन सिविलाइजेशन हाउ दे मेक मम्मीज दिस इज अ स्टेप्स स्टेप वन स्टेप टू स्टेप थ्री एंड फाइनली इट वॉज लुक्स लाइक दिस बट इट वॉज प्रिजर्व थाउजेंड थाउजेंड ऑफ ईयर्स दिस इज यू जस्ट यू सी इट इज अ प्लव विच वॉज यूज टू मेक एग्रीकल्चर मोर एग्रीकल्चर मोर प्रोडक्टिव एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर हैज इंक्रीज लाइक एनी थिंग वंस दे स्टार्टेड टू कल्टिवेट थ्रू प्लव आफ्टर वर्ड सिकल सिकल इज ए कर्ड ब्लेड यूज फॉर कटिंग इन हार्वेस्टिंग ग्रेन सच एज व्हीट एंड बार्ली यू माइट बी सीन लाइक दिस लाइक दिस इट विल बी देयर or you can say it was a symbol of communist party of india your hand will be there this is your sickle and next is your saduf saduf is a long balancing pole as till you will i think very long back in india also it was used when agriculture facility was not there to just move water from one place to another place they used to this like they used just just take one simple one just you can take any of the bamboo or anything one side you put one load then what will happen another side put one bucket once you will dip in bucket you will relieve it due to load filled bucket will come up means it will save your effort to move the water from one place to another place then emptied into higher ground next calendar is developed and calendar was uh, 365 days and 12 month with 30 days correct 12 month with 30 days it will come 360 days 5 days it is given for just to see here it has a fixed point which coincided with the yearly flooding of the nile then 5 days is given for celebration and festival due to calendar year has become 365 but after 400 500 years they have started to find some problem 365 days is not giving correct idea because some error was there now we are we remove the error georgian calendar has removed the error after every every 4 years they are adding one day like february we are making 29 days due to it is managed but if you keep on counting 360 by 365 then what will happen after 400 500 years error will start to come then this is rectified by roman calendar and finally 366 days not all after every 4 years one year will be 366 days and concept of has come leap year and non leap year correct Afterwards, cosmetic makeup. Makeup was started that time. Wigs was started. Makeup was started. All ladies was doing the makeup and cosmetic use during uh, Egyptian civilization. Toothpaste. Toothpaste is invented that time. It's not a small thing. Mathematics has taken great advancement, especially geometry during Egyptian civilization. Religion wise, you will say then you can say it was a like not much rigorous religious, but they worshipped multiple gods. Around two thousand two hundred gods. In between, sometimes king was imposing to worship like any particular god, like a Ra, sun god Ra, or afterwards Aten has come. But overall, they are believing in multiple gods, and around more than two thousand gods they used to used to uh, uh, used to worship. Afterwards, philosophy philosophy sides also they they have developed like anything because that time they you they made. like a memphis and memphis was one of the great center for the philosophical development and next they have come agriculture and irrigation we have already seen craftsmanship already we have seen system of administration system of administration also they made like they introduced like a king is a descendant of the god and we are just ruling uh, ruling on the egypt because god wants to rule here and based on that that is you can say legitimate authority has come and that has given very firm system of administration and afterwards it was divided in a small small province and afterwards with the help of ministers they used to control all the small to biggest issues temple temple was another classic example for the egyptian architecture they used to make uh, like a temples uh, pharaoh pharaoh was the king there pharaoh actually it was the building name like we are telling now president house meaning is here president are 
staying. Similarly, Pharaoh was the building where king was staying. You can say king palace. But slowly, 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 and king itself has started to call Pharaoh. But basically, that building name was the Pharaoh. Postal service, this was one of the invention has done by the Egyptian people because once they increase their diplomatic relation with Syria, Lebanon and afterwards uh, other uh, Palestine, then they need some communication. That time internet to tha nahi ki email likh di. So how to communicate? Then they introduce the postal service. That time they made one, one like a group of people who was a, like a horse rider and they can take your uh, written letter or your information very fast wherever it is needed. तो उस समय पोस्टल सर्विस इसी तरीके से स्टार्ट हुई इवन ब्रिटिश टाइम तक इसी तरीके से चलती रही पूरे वर्ल्ड ने पूरे वर्ल्ड ने इसी को प्लस माइनस करके थोड़ा मॉडिफाई करके अडॉप्ट किया विद द हेल्प ऑफ हॉर्स राइडर हु कैन राइड द हॉर्स वेरी फास्ट करेक्ट देन एवरी किंग दे मेड वन ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल हु कैन हु आर अ गुड हॉर्स राइडर एंड दे कैन गो एनी वेयर इन दैट एरिया और नियर बाई एरिया और यू कैन से लिटिल फार Without much disturbances, they know some uh, you can say root knowledge also, geograph geographical knowledge also, and they can reach in minimum time. So postal service ki suruat Egypt se hui. Historiography means his uh, history ko note karna or history ko you can say codify karna. Wo bhi wohi se start hua. Navigation, trade, and commerce all these are started and you can say invented. during egyptian culture this will try to understand how society was there that time like this of course pharaoh was at the top of the apex and afterwards it was coming the priest and other mantri jo bhi uske hote the next was the coming other people and finally it was the coming slaves and servants slave was not as per historical evidence it was not enslaved forcibly but slave is required to maintain and do the all big big works then slaves and servants was coming at last order peasants was coming afterwards craftsmen and artists was there everybody was having their own role to build up the society and they used to do and they have done thousand hundred hundred of years together to give the egyptian society or egyptian civilization is very strong civilization which are still thriving the world and are still guiding the world these all based on the figures you can understand like uh, cultivation technique like one side cultivation is doing and from back side seeding is done correct sowing seeding and cultivation all these was happening almost together this we can say that time agriculture they made lot of advancement and they used to do all all techniques which are necessary to increase their productivity and this you can say like a water navigation they used to make uh, sail and boats and uh, you can say any of the point like mediterranean sea is there or this this side red sea was there how to cross it and make the trade relation with other countries or other land mass then you can say lot of lot of effective or lot of uh, inventions which egyptian civilization has made that are still useful for human societies or human generation now just we'll see this one how big difficulty they used to move this rock and big big stones to make the pyramids that time it was and uh, by chance wheel was invented by mesopotamia people if wheel would not invented then this much big big monuments would not made because wheel was one of the region they are their direct effort was little little subside correct means it will become uh, it, it will reduce much and due to with the help of wheel cart they were able to move from one place to another place this you can just see based on the images like a trade was the developed and you can say like a concept of markets and bazaar was also there people used to go and uh, like a well defined area where trading was happened and again this you can say different understanding of uh, you can say hierarchy of the society but almost same pharaoh will be at the top priest will be ne next next will be your uh, another people next will come like at last it will come like a slave saint this few a sculpture we will just try to look how much well designed like all these in that point of time it was all a single rock cutting it was single rock cutting how much it would be difficult that point of time to make it one rock cutting and making like this and basically this symbol is this body of the lion 
and head is a human being. And this you will find everywhere in Egypt. So once you will go to the either Giza or Saqqara or maybe Memphis or maybe Cairo also. Wherever uh, you will find pyramids or uh, pyramids are not there also, then you will find this sculpture like body of the lion and head of human being. And afterwards, these all you can see, just see a sculpture. It was a very, uh, you can say queen. All these are queen of Egyptian uh, royal family. And finally, we can say we have done and we understood, I think, in very detail that much detail actually based on our purpose that much detail also not required but i have given you detailed idea to understand the concept of modern nation state and finally our focus will be for india how india will be developed and how india will achieve that viksit bharat in 2047 thank you thank you very much